Hello everyone and welcome to a new view for you to roll. Well, this morning we're going to be reading some astrological energies. And we're going to be saying what are our top energies of the day and what the universe wants us to know for this day. We're going to be reading from the astrology deck, excuse me. To see what planetary systems are going to affect our energy today. And we're going to see what energies are being highlighted on this day. What are our highlighted energies for today? Give you thanks and praise. At this hour of the day. Let's see what energies are experiencing. Let's just be aware of today. What's in our environment and what we need to know for this day. First energy out is Chiron. Chiron energies. One second. Chiron. First energy out is Chiron. This asteroid is named after Chiron, the centaur, a wounded healer in Greek mythology. In astrology, Chiron represents a deep wound in our soul in our attempts to heal or deny the pain. This wound can arise in relationships, mental health, situations, unless properly attended to. For those experiencing personal transits in their own little Chiron, the universe wants you to, pro to process some psychological truths so that you can come out stronger. So our first energy at play for today is our Chiron energies. Facing some truths and psychological things, pain, that we may not really want to deal with, but we know it exists. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the next energy? Water. Water. So we have Chiron pain and people and water energy, which are your cancers, Scorpio and Piscean energies. These make up the water signs. They're intuitive, they're imaginative, deeply connected to their emotions. And these signs dive deep into their souls for spiritual discoveries. Water takes on the shape of the container. And for many water signs, it can be difficult to decide whether or not their container or situation, a relationship or a place, is truly beneficial in the long run. What signs are the natural, water signs are your natural healers in the zodiac world? So we have... Chiron pain that's affecting water signs and that they really may not want to talk about or deal with. These are painful issues that are rising up in the lives of Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios right now. These are painful dilemmas, relationships. Past, present, and future. 
this energy here Spirit says this is current energy yes this is current energy we got some black moon Lilith energy and we got some Hygieia energies so we have Chiron and water black moon Lilith and Hygieia Black Moon Lilith is the geometric point in space where the moon is furthest from the earth in its transits. This point changes zodiacs at approximately every nine months. Black Moon Lilith represents the wild feminine energy and understanding the placement in your birth chart will help you better understand your sexuality, including repressed fantasies, fetishes, and compulsions. The Black Moon Lilith can also shed light on your addictive tendencies when it comes to love, romance, and dating. So the Black Moon Lilith exposes those codependent behaviors dealing with our relationships. It brings to light in Chiron the fact of the pain that is existing from these codependent relationships. We have the energy of Hygieia at play. Named for the Greek goddess of health. This asteroid is associated with mental and physical health. So we have mental health on the table right now. Pain and Chiron, probably dealing with the Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer energy, who is a feminine energy, who is in Black Moon Lilith energy. Dealing with repressed sexualities and fantasies and pain from past life traumas. Um, Hygieia can indicate our relationship with sleep, hygiene, nutrition, exercise, holistic wellness practices, difficult aspects and transit features this asteroid can indicate sudden changes in your body or sudden onset of illness. This asteroid has a powerful influence on those who work in the wellness industry. Healers, doctors, and other medical professionals. So, <clears throat> Hygieia deals with the way you rest. Are you getting enough rest? Or are you stuck in your head and Chiron energy is dealing with traumas and issues that are starting to creep up in your energies. We get two more energies and then that's going to be it for the astrological. This is going to affect the Leo. And one more. The spirit. One more energy. Planetary return. Oh, excuse me. Hold on, please. Okay. <clears throat> now, last thing we said was about Hygieia, dealing with the way we rest. This asteroid has a powerful influence on those who work in the wellness industry and is a prominent player for doctors, healers, and other medical professionals. The next energy up is the sign of Leo. Now, Leo's is represented by the lion. Okay? They are shining stars of the zodiac. They're ready to take on the world in style. And if you want some advice or coordinate an outfit, you can consult a Leo. Leo are very bright. Um, they come out as to be the loyal sign. Um, 
but not one you want to cross. And they'll let you know who's boss in a quick hurry. Uh, they're clear on what they want. And they have zero fear for going for what they set their sights on. So your Leos are your more direct. They are usually represented by the sun energies in the zodiac. So in our energies today, we have Chiron. We have Hygieia as the asteroids. We have the lunar phase of the black moon Lilith. We have the element of water, the sign of Leo. And the eclipse transit of the planetary return. It's a transit system. A planetary occurs when a transiting planet crosses the spot it was in when you were born each month. We have our lunar return cycle where the moon connects with the position that was in the moment we were born each year. We have our solar return or our birthday. And Saturn returns to the point of birth every 28 to 30 years. And this is often a major coming of age event. So with planetary returns come major life lessons. They come to make major changes. They're the coming of age period. It's associated with committing to a career path or a long term relationship. And it's also a time when it takes to travel the whole wheel of the zodiac and this is significant as a return the longer the return the more powerful it is in our lives so we have a planetary return a significant life event that's about to take place Okay. For those of you on the new view for you, we'd like to thank you at this time for joining us. And if you want to continue, you can catch us over at the Daily Dose of Spiritual Vitamin with Body B. And we'll continue this read. Be blessed. Ah, okay, let's continue on with our reading. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go in and I'm going to figure out what kind of energy are we reading for, what is aspected highly in this reading as far as masculine and feminine energy, and see what other information we can find out pertaining to the Chiron, the water, Black Moon, Lilith, and the Haji. Who is the highlighted? What energy is highlighted? Masculine and feminine energy. Feel this energy highlighted for the purpose of this reading of the spirit. Feminine tiger. Masculine and rabbit. Alright, let's see what we got going on. We have yin energy that is um, highly featured during this read. Um, 
this is going to be a difficult situation to deal with it's going to you want to seize the opportunity of what is going to be presented to you however you're going to have good balance it's going to be good balance in this situation just got to be careful how you operate and how you move okay so be careful in how you operate how you move got good positive energy coming in because it's good balance um, gonna need some effort you gotta seize your opportunity to start this project or seize the opportunity to start whatever it is that you endeavor that you want to start seize your opportunity when it presents itself um, gonna have a little a little difficulty to come you're gonna Take the leadership role. Take the leadership role. Um, the year is just going to be affected. It's the year of the tiger. It's the year of the tiger. The year of the rabbit, 1951, 1963, 1975, 88 2000 2012 these are the years that are going to be affected by this Chiron this water this black moon Lilith the tiger the rabbit the dragon Hygieia Leo and the planetary return this is more detail into who can be affected by the reading that we're getting ready to do. Even remember you have some hygiene energies that's coming into play. We're just going to deal with people dealing in the healthcare professions. It's going to call on your Leo energy for you to be able to shine through in this situation. Even though you may be going through some black moon little situations and the water ele elements and Chiron energies. Chiron comes to help you take a look at situations in your life. Take a deeper look at those aspects. So that you can heal them and move forward. Chiron is here because we're at the closing 
of Mercury retrograde, which is over October the 22nd. So, beware. Don't start anything new in Mercury retrograde. Close out and repair. That's the purpose of Mercury retrograde. So as you operating your tiger, your rabbit, and your dragon, remember, Chiron, Water, and Lilith are also at play. So you're going to be healing issues within yourself and understanding deeper aspects of yourself. But continue to shine bright in your energies and understand your moody dispositions. Be blessed, my beloved. Okay, hello. It's time for the Vedic Astrology portion of our reading. So, let's see what the Vedic Astrology tells us about the body type. that's going to be involved in this reading. I'm going to find out what houses. I'm going to find out some soul information on who will be affected by this reading. So, let's see what we got here. We got the third house, the fourth house, the tenth house, and the eleventh house are going to be affected. We got Raha energy, which is growth. We have the sun, which is some more of that Leo energy. We have Mercury, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius communication energies. We have moon energy, which is also water energy and reflecting. And we have Vata movement. The signs affected will be Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. The element affected will be the Earth element, Mars, and the element of fire. Stabilizing and transforming energies. These are the energies that are going to be highlighted in this reading that we're getting ready to do. This is the Vedic portion of the reading, which talks about the soul journey involved in this particular reading. The soul of this reading, individuals who may be born under the birth signs of Libra. Libra. Our ruler is Venus. Pleasing, harmonious, artistic, social, diplomatic, aesthetic, influential, psychological, and refined energies. You're going to be affected Aquarius. Aquarius is ruled by Saturn or the work ethic. Same like Capricorn. They're scientific, they're visionary, they can be humane, factual, intellectual, democratic, a little eccentric, global, and so often misunderstood. They are known as the Kumba, or the ruler of Saturn. They're a mixture of Vata and Kapha energies. It is an air element, Aquarius. So we have air in our in our our reading very heavily today because we are also aspected with Mercury, and Mercury deals with the air element and communication.
intelligence, dexterity, eloquence, and an analysis, humor, wit, processing speeds, shrewdness, and information are all aspects of the Libra and the Aquarian who are also signs under Mercury, the house of communication. So communication is going to be a key element in this reading. It's going to have to do with your ability to voice what you're feeling, what you're thinking, especially when it comes to you asserting your energy. Because we have Mars energy here, and we have Leo, which means that I am Mars and Leo. So for me, that's, that's the assertive energy. It takes courage, focus, physical strength, willpower, independence. You're going to have to be able to stand up in conflict and strategize. It's going to take your prowesses and the use of your weapons of mental, mental weapons, hopefully. <laughs> but it's Mars energy, which is the planet of war. Assertion. The moon is a reflective energy. The moon will be at play here. We have Black Moon Lilith in the regular, the Western astrology, and in the Vedic, we also have the moon. The moon is known as Chandra. She's the nutrients, intuition, your emotions, your flexibility, your receptivity, your flexibility, your memory, and your introspections and your love are all affected by moon elements. The moon is also affected by water elements. So that's why intuition is here and that's why Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer are here. <clears throat> so we'll be affected by the moon. We'll be affected by our ability to communicate will be affected by our ability to stand up and be assertive. We will also be affected by our ability to radiate our true emotional feelings in the sun. Take authority, your individuality, your leadership skills, your charisma, your self-reliance, your dignity, your loyalty, your determination, and your endurance is required during this period of time as you stand up in your sun energies and assert yourself when communicating how you feel okay because you have mercury mars moon and the sun that means stand up communicate what you feel and be radiant while doing it don't cower We have Scorpio, uh, we have the sign of Scorpio who will be at play. So we have Aquarius, we have Libra, and we have Scorpio. These can be aspected any placements in your chart. However, if they are in the third the 4th, the 10th, or the 11th house of your birth chart or your Vedic chart, they are going to be heavily aspected today. These are elements of who you are as an individual. That's how come it's important to pull your birth chart because you will find that in your unique cosmic indicators, you are several signs. You are not just one sign. You are a makeup of several signs which denote different aspects of who you are. How your body works. What parts of your body ache. What parts of your body work well. What parts where your train energies are. All of this can be found under astrological and zodiac signs. It's more than just I'm a Scorpio or I'm a Cancer or I'm a Capricorn. It goes into dealing with who you are. Like this, the Scorpio that's aspected. 
These are the traits of Scorpio. Sarcastic, vindictive, brusque, adversarial, strategic, sexual, mystical. They love competition. These are aspects of Scorpio. We've got aspects of Aquarius and aspects of Libra. <coughs> These can be sun, moon, or rising. They can be in any of your houses. They can be in any of your planetary placements. But these signs, along with water and Leo, will be highly aspected. We have the element of fire and the element of earth. We will be growing because we are transforming in raw high energy. And there will be movement. <clears throat> this is a body type. The body type of movement is Vata. This is your air energy. It's slender. It's sensitive. It's nervous. It's communicative. It's light sleeper. Highly active. Dry hands, skin, cold hands and feet, quick movement and speech. This is Vata energy. Movement. Hurry, 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 hurry. Movement. Houses to be affected. Third house of the library. This deals with your siblings. Eleventh house. Recreation, this deals with your pleasures. Fourth house, dining room and kitchen. This deals with your mother or your main energy house. Your house, your house. Deals with mothers. Feminine energies in the fourth house. Tenth house, deals with your career. So your home and your career are going to be affected. Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There's going to be some changes that's going to take place. Some may be good, some may be bad, depending on which side of karma you're standing on. 11, 11 on the clock. There's going to be changes that are going to take place. These are transforming energies and fire or your Sagittarius, Leos, all that fire energy in this, but it's going to be stabilizing. You're going to grow anabolic, agitated, selfish, passionate, active, restless, forceful, listful, and controlling energies. This is Rahas energy. This is also creative energy that will be at flow. Level 3 energies, Rahas. You will see things with your eyes which will cause you to transform and you will smell things that will let you know this shit stinks or not. In your earth and your fire energies. So, these are the Vedic astrology energies that are going to be at play. This is it for your new view for you. Quick 10 minute reading tarot for the complete story of everything going on. Check it out on the Daily Dose of the Pony Pete. Peace and love you guys. Till it's time to read again. I'm out. Okay my beloved. Now it's time to go in and get the meat and potatoes of the story. I'm going to be using two different original tarot decks. 
why not call the before tarot which is the gold foil and the other I call the after tarot which is what it is called because it's gonna tell us some shit after the fact okay so we're gonna go in I'm sitting here smoking me a blunt right now because this is getting ready to get deep. <coughs> We're going to ask the divine. <coughs> for the reason. <coughs> for the rabbit. <coughs> the tiger. We want to know why it's here. That's what we want to know. Why? Why y'all here? Okay. So, at this time, you get your blunts, <laughs> get your vapes, get whatever you're going to get. Because this go to juicy parts right here. We then got the astrological points of view. And we done found out what energy is at play. Now we're going in to kill. So, let's get ready to get our minds right here. And get on one accord. to get funky in here as we pull a lot of energies according to what our creator wants us to have for this day <laughs> put this lovers to roll away <coughs> let's get some some gold cards in this situation here and see what the divine got to say about everything going on the gold edition is so beautiful these are some gorgeous cards Heavenly Father we give you thanks at this time we ask that you touch over our energy Holy Spirit Show us clearly what it is that you want us to know. We ask that you give us divine guidance on this journey through the tarot that we get a clear understanding of the zodiac energy that is a play in the earlier readings. When we speak, we ask that you tie it all together for us. That you bring it all together so that it all makes sense so that we can see clearly what it is that you want us to know about. Black Moon, Lilith, Energies, the Hygias, Chirons, Holy Spirit, Lord, that you show us clearly in the town. What energies you want us to know that are at play and show us why. In your son Jesus' name we pray. We ask y'all to come into our reading. We ask Yahweh to allow Yahshua's presence to be felt. And we ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit sent by Yahweh in the form of the Holy Ghost. So I come before the time of grace. Father God, we ask that you show us clearly whatever energy you have divinely ordained us to receive for this day. That we may clearly see the message of the day. We ask that you show us with truth and clarity any and all messages that you have the wrong way to for us to receive. We give you thanks. We ask you to continue to watch over us 
darkness can help us to understand why the energies are at play the way they are at play. We actually show us a <coughs> energy that you have divinely ordained as to receive. We ask you to show us the story of why to me. We ask you to show us why these energies are at play at this time. In Jesus' name, pray. Okay. Alrighty. First energy out for the sake of this read. Is our beloved King of Wands. He's in the upright. This is fire energy. Fire energy. This is Libra energy in the justice. This is air energy in the Eight of Swords. This is more fire energy and action oriented. Ten of Wands. Is that right? Yep. That's correct. Ten of Wands. Those are the first four energies out. First four. First four. Round two. The devil. Three of Wands in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in the upright. So what we have here is the Devil Energy and Chiron. Black Moon Lilith. Chiron. The devil energy are those addictions. The devil energy is that pain. The devil energy is those wounds and fetishes and all of those lusty desires of codependency that Hygieia speaks of when it talks about digging deep, learning how to heal. You got to first face some returning shadows during this retrograde period, phase in our life right now right now this is earth energy this is Capricorn energy this is the devil as you can see in this photograph in front of us there are two individuals who are standing here both of them have addictive behaviors both of them have addictive tendencies but they are not chained to one another. They are both chained to the devil. Why is this picture depicted this way? Do you wonder? Because it is an individual choice. You have to allow yourself to be succumbed under witchcraft. You have to allow yourself to be succumbed under the demonic possessions of the things that the devil entreats you with. In order for them to have power. So the story is about taking back your power. The devil energy is under the king of wands. 
So it is the king of wands who wrestles with these addictive behaviors. It is the king of wands who wrestles with his sexual behaviors, his addictions, his low self-esteem. It is him who deals with whether or not he feels good enough within himself. <coughs> because justice is coming in for him. And Libra energy and balance and understanding that karma has to be paid. Justice. Karma will be paid. Justice will be served. So it doesn't matter how much you're in your head in the air energy of the Eight of Swords. This is self-imprisonment. This is fear and lack of knowledge of understanding of the situation at hand. This is trying to think of how to get out of it. This is trapping yourself. This is also a situation that can keep you bound. But you don't have to be bound because when you understand one that things are going to happen regardless of whether or not you want them to or not because when the universe steps in and takes over you lose control when you make wrong decisions when you make decisions that the universe does not agree with the universe is going to bring in a tower so it doesn't matter how long and hard you think about it it's not going to change it these are self-imprisoning thoughts because they're here to keep you burdened. Which is all part of the witchcraft that these sisters right here got you under. See, their whole job is to keep you in this illusion. To keep you from moving forward. Which is what they're doing. The illusions and entrapment that you have in your mind its purpose is to keep you from moving forward. That's what the devil wants. See, the enemy, as long as he can keep you trapped in your mind, it prevents forward motion. Because you're trapped in your own mind. It's a self-imprisonment. They trap you with the thoughts of things that you have done to yourself, things that have happened to you in your life. The negative energy that you've had to deal with and had to succumb to. All of these things are to keep you trapped. But what you got to understand is that there's only two women here in this contract agreement. So these two witches right here who are working with the devil to keep you trapped. Justice is coming in, King of Wands. Justice is coming. See, these witches know you don't want to be partners no more. These witches know you no longer want to be partners. And that's why they want you trapped in your head. They don't want you to move forward. They want you to lose sleep. They want you stuck in your head. Because see, as long as you are stuck in your head, they can prevent you from moving forward into new partnerships. And Spirit God says, that's the truth. So see, my King of Wands, they know that you are a divine masculine. They know it. So they have to keep you here because as long as they keep you in a self-imposed prison carrying burdens you can't move forward that's what these devils want these devils want you in a self-imposed prison
They want you under the illusion of the moon. That's why the black moon Lilith was here. In the earlier reading, go back to the very beginning. The black moon Lilith was present. This is her. Sexual behaviors, lusty behaviors. Black moon Lilith. They want you sitting in your stubborn pride. Because if you're sitting in your stubborn pride and judgment come in, the commitments in your twin flame relationship, will be moving forward. That's what they don't want. That's what they don't want. That's why they want you in a self imposed prison. See? Because once you recognize the truth, once you Begin to understand what God is showing you in the truth of the fact that these devils right here, these two devils in this car, plus the good old Luciferian himself, all of these negative energies right here that are teaming up together to keep you in a self imposed prison mentally, carrying burdens. See, when they do that to you, you are not going to move forward. And they know it. That's how come witchcraft, when you understand that witchcraft takes place in the mind. Witchcraft takes place when someone imposes their will upon you and is not your will. It's an objective. Another agenda to block the blessing of God. See, their whole objective is to stop you from reaching God's plan. Because these people are devils. They're devils. Ain't no God in them. They don't know God. God don't know them. They don't want no God. They're Luciferians. They love their Lucifer. They like negative vibrational energy. They like that. They live in lack mindsets. They like lusty energy. They like who they are. So when you like who you are, even when you hate who you are, they're not trying to change it. Okay, my spirit said pull from the afterthought. Alright, let's see what we got going on. What kind of time we got on our ticky tock here? Excuse me. Come up on 30 minutes. For this segment, anyway, because I'm just allowed. This is the afterthoughts of the Torah. So, I say, let's go in. Holy Spirit shows clearly why these energies are present. We want to know why the King of Wands is here, why Justice is here. We want to know why the Eight of Swords is here. Two more energies on the Eight of Swords. Okay. Well, the Eight of Swords and this Tower energy. Spirit said this whole top row. 
You're ready to walk away with what you've invested in already. You're ready to take your pinnacle and walk away from it. You're like, you know, some things, even though I may have invested, some things I have to let go of. That's the king of wands. This is going to create a tower. Because this wasn't expected. Gonna knock the block off their ass. You're gonna walk away from all this juggling and turn your back on the juggling. That's where you're gonna get your justice. Turn your back on the juggling. Take your pinnacle that you have to invest. Walk away. Let the tower fall. King of Wands. Let it fall. Walk away from all this juggling. That's when you're going to get your justice. Spirit of God said, and you being in your head and carrying these burdens, Spirit of God said, um, truth of the matter is, he lays as soon as his back. Uh oh. Well, the guy said the truth about this shit is the truth about you being in your head trying to carry all these burdens under this witchcraft. The truth. Well, the guy said, um, you want to be happy? Stop fighting these niggas. Take the blindfold off. You got to make a decision. Because you're at a crossroads. You got to make a choice. In the two of swords. Get out of your head. Do you want to be happy? That's what the Spirit of God said. Ace of swords, the sun, and the two of swords. If you want to be happy, get out of your head. Pull it into lack mentality. You see that death over top of that four? That 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 that, that sickle over that four? That four represents lack mindsets, lack mentalities. Spirit of God says, kill it. Let it go. Get the nourishment you need while you're being enlightened. Because right now you still got shit you're learning. So eat the food of enlightenment. See that halo around his head? See her feeding him nourishment to his mind? Do you see that? Because once he has come into full fruition, he will turn. And he will have full acknowledgement and enlightenment. But right now, he's being fed nourishing information to help him grow in enlightenment. That's why you're in the hangman position. This is a position that God places you in. Because he wants you to pay attention to the one, two, Three, four points of your existence and understand who you are. One is that you got to make a decision and put an end to these lack mindsets. <clears throat> Stop being stubborn, King of Pentacle. Spirit of God said, You're being stubborn. Does he look happy? Does he look happy? Holding on to that pinnacle. No, he doesn't. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. 
see you in part two. If you like my vibe, hit the button and subscribe. Come on back and finish joining me as a new view for you to roll continues on the saga of the after tarot and understanding our energies and what's apply. Be blessed my people.